Your research paper or thesis is almost done. You just need a compelling title for it. Then you should definitely watch this video, because here you'll get 7 tips on how to make the title of your paper an irresistibly attractive magnet. The title will burn itself into the mind of your professor and will give them no choice but to put your paper on top of their list. And now, without further ado, welcome to Schreib. Many thanks to Scribba for sponsoring this video. More about Scribba later. Tip 1. Create a draft of your title early on. Nailing down an unchanging title at the beginning of your paper journey makes no sense. Spend a few minutes formulating a halfway decent title that you can present to your professor in the first meeting or even in the first email. Your title doesn't have to be perfect, but a simple rule for a first draft is the following. Put the most important concepts of your paper in your title. As a first step, write a list of the most important concepts and rank them. The best way to explain this technique is to use an example. For my fictitious paper I choose the concepts digital nomadism, corporate work and employer branding. Ok, defining these key concepts will not only help you formulate your title. They are also the key search terms for your literature search and the structure of your background section. Before you can define your key concepts, you should of course have thought about a topic for your paper. If you need some inspiration for that, check out my tutorial on how to find a research topic, which is linked at the top right corner of this video. But now back to your title. From the three key concepts, you now form a sentence that brings the words in a reasonably logical context. For example, like this. Digital nomad corporate work as an employer branding tool. Boom, the draft is done. That wasn't all that difficult. Of course, it is not yet a perfect title, but we will work on that. Tip 2. Divide your title with a colon. Now we come to the linguistic nuances and tips on how to make a lasting impression with your title. You know all these sayings and wisdoms. First impressions count and so on. And you know what? It's true. If your title triggers curiosity, polarizes or stirs up expectations, then the reader, in most cases your professor, will approach the matter with a completely different default setting, also called priming. With an uninspired boring title, that person will decide in the first few seconds that your work has lost its chance for an outstanding grade. With an exceptional title, however, he or she will inwardly think, wow, the bar is set, I wonder if this work can meet my expectations. And the foundation for your A-type grade is laid. Now all that's left is for the rest of your work to deliver. But if you have seen all my other tutorials, that shouldn't be a problem for you. The next title hack is the separation by a colon. This way you split your title into two parts and double your design possibilities. You can still name the most important terms in a reasonable way and additionally throw in an exciting or polarizing statement. Let's try the whole thing with the example. Corporate nomadism. Digital nomad work as an employer branding tool. These two parts now allowed me to accommodate an additional notion, that is corporate nomadism, which makes the title of the paper even more interesting, because that terminology is not well established and rather thought provoking. This title would be quite acceptable for a research paper. But it can be even better. Tip 3. Raise expectations with a counterintuitive statement. The idea of corporate nomadism is counterintuitive. Why? Because digital nomads hate corporations and have built a whole movement to escape the 9 to 5. Therefore, conflating the two worlds is a bit polarizing. The thought-provoking statement should trigger the following thoughts in your professor's mind. Wait a minute, actually this is different. How can that be? In your paper, you will then enlighten him or her with the help of your unique argument. The title that is really clear to everyone creates an effect you want to avoid. Pure boredom. Is your title something like this? Remote work as a challenge for corporate cultures. That's okay, but to be honest, quite boring. It would have been an exciting title in 2015 maybe. 
Anyway, if your key concepts are inherently not that exciting like business process management and automated workflows, then you can use another technique. Tip 4. Use magic words. What's that supposed to be? Has he gone completely crazy? No, magic words are the missing icing on the cake when it comes to your title. Magic words aren't meant to make you drift into fiction or make your title seem ridiculous. Rather, you can use them to make your title more interesting and striking. The way a title should be. I thought for a while about how to incorporate a magic word into my example and came to the following conclusion. Corporate nomadism. Digital nomad work as a disruptive employer branding signal. My magic word, disruptive, polarizes, makes a statement, sounds good and thus rounds out the title in a worthy way. I replaced tools with signal, as this hints to an interesting theoretical angle about signaling theory that I'm trying to pursue in the paper. What do you think? I'm satisfied. Before we continue with tip 5, let me just say a few words about the sponsor of this video, Scribber. If you are looking for a proofreading service or plagiarism check for your scientific work, I can wholeheartedly recommend the team at Scribber. Just have a look at scribber.com and send me a short email at info at for an exclusive coupon code. Tip 5. Create clarity by using nouns. I have unintentionally used this tip in most of the example titles. To help you understand what I mean, I'll give you a negative example. Digital nomads working as corporate employees. How companies are improving their employer branding by signaling flexible work arrangements. I guess I went a little overboard on that one. That title sounds really crappy for a change. But it makes you realize what I mean by using nouns. Instead of using verbs like working, improving or signaling, I limit myself to nouns. The meaning of both titles is essentially the same, but this one is not only longer but also not very compelling. If we compare this title with the previous one, one thing becomes clear. Nouns, we need nouns. Tip 6. Don't commit until the end. To close the loop from my introduction, let's go back. In the first tip, we agreed to write a draft for your title first. Based on the examples, you have now seen how many different iterations the title of a paper can go through. You can do the same. Do not decide on a title until your paper is finished. Your title should appropriately reflect the contents and core idea of your paper. In the writing process, a paper can quickly develop in a different direction, which requires you to adjust the title as well. Therefore, it is not necessary that your title is perfect at the start. But be careful. Sometimes the administrative staff that oversees the submissions of thesis might not like a change of the title. Give them a heads up in case you made changes without their knowledge. Tip 7. Optimize your title for search engines. This final tip is a bit advanced, but it might still be helpful for you. Even some of the most accomplished researchers do not pay attention to this and miss out on a lot of potential of their papers. For a scientific publication to thrive, its discoverability is key. And in this day and age, papers are discovered through search engines and databases such as Google Scholar, Scopus or the Web of Science. These platforms work with keywords and search algorithms. This means that you can optimize your title for keywords. If you do, more people will discover the paper in case it is indexed in one of those databases. And even if you think, well, I am just a student who needs to pass this class with a term paper, I can tell you that the closer you can get to the real practice of research and publishing, the more impressed your professor will be. So let us quickly analyze the search optimization of our example. Even though I wanted to include the polarizing term corporate nomadism, I still kept digital nomad in there. This is because nobody will search for corporate nomadism, but many will search for digital nomad. The second keyword is employer branding. 
which is also fully included in the title. Lastly, the keyword about the theory, signal, could be improved. Researchers might search for signaling theory. So one could change the title to something like this. Digital Nomad Work for Employer Branding, a Signaling Theory Perspective. However, I still prefer the first version, even though this one would be perfectly optimized for keywords. What I then do is make sure that the keyword signaling theory is included in the abstract of the paper. This is because the abstract is also indexed on those databases alongside the title.